Hello, everybody. Welcome. Becky here with the Simple Spruce Studio. Everybody have a wonderful Easter weekend. Come on in, guys. Hop on. Say hi while I get some comments going. Putting my apron on today, guys. So we're doing some painting. Comment, let me know you're there. Say hi. Hi, Miss Debbie. Hi, Karen. Okay, close that out. Hello, Jan, Miss Brenda, Carol Ann, Lynn. Hello, hello. Hi, just caught your notice and sat right down. Yay! <laughs> oh, all right. Ah, been packing orders today, guys. Not done yet either. Okay. If you guys seen, not this most, not the Thrift Haul Friday, but the one before that. This one was, I look crooked. <laughs> I look crooked. Um, this one was on the one before that. And it's listed on the website, but it's listed to be painted. So that is what we're going to do today. We are going to change um, the look of this. We are going to use some DIY paint faded burlap, which is a really cool neutral color. For you, that looks like a fun piece. <laughs> Hi, Vivian. Oh, Lynn, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> We're going to paint it. We're going to change the color of it. We're going to go with a really neutral kind of a, a drop cloth color. It's called faded, well, burlap. It's faded burlap. Now, I did paint the bottom of this and the inside and bottom just to make it a little easier and to speed up the painting process for you guys. Hi, Christina. So, yeah. And then, of course, we're going to use some waxes. We're going to clear wax it and then dark wax it so all of the detail pops. So I want all of that dark wax to sit down in all of this. Miss George Ann, hello. How are you? Sprinkling the love, Sandra. Thank you. Hi, Sandy. All right, so we're going to get started, guys. Oh, okay, like I said, this is DIY chalk paint. Faded burlap. I love this color. And it's, I haven't had this can very long and it's over half gone. So I've been painting a lot with it. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is just set this piece. Let's see. Let me open this up. I tried to make it a little bit easier on myself and get the bottoms painted. So less dry time. Georgie and I'm doing good. Doing good. We're getting close to having um, one grandbaby. She's only, oh, I don't know how many days now. I lost track. Probably because I lost track of what the date is today. Oh, but yeah, we're, we're waiting for that phone call. I told Troy we need to just get our bags packed. So when she does call us or her husband, Stan, calls us, then we can get the next flight out and already be packed. So Lynn Sprinkled, thank you. Hi, Gail. Well, we got some beautiful weather. We had a gorgeous day yesterday, guys. We couldn't ask for a better day. It was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> well, Troy can only have, so he can only be gone for so long. He's got crews 
bunch of crews working all over the place. So he can only be gone so long. And he wants to, I know that we probably won't make it for, um, to be there before the baby's born. But as long as we're there to, when she's coming home. So, and he can only have, uh, I think he's only got so many days left. But come to think of it, I think they roll over here pretty soon. But yeah, so we'll probably be gone for probably about right at a week. We're going to stay. But yeah, me, huh. I can uh, take you guys shopping with me up there and all kinds of other stuff. So, hi, Samantha. Happy Monday. I'm doing this. Push in that paint into all the crevices here. See, see that color, guys? one of those really good neutral colors. See, I have this Lazy Susan for a reason. That reason, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes I get too much on my table and I can't spin it around. Happy Monday. Hi, Denise. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Yeah, I'm excited to see how the black wax is going to... But I have to clear wax at first. I am going to use the DIY clear wax first. Because that acts as... Um, not only does it seal the chalk paint in, it acts as a sealer, but it's also going to act as a barrier for the dark wax. So it gives me more freedom to play with the black wax so it doesn't, or I should say just dark wax. It's dark wax I'm using. So it gives me more uh, freedom to play with it and to wipe back as much as I want or leave it as dark as I want. Because if I went in straight with the dark wax on this paint, you wouldn't be wiping much back and it would end up pretty darn dark because that chalk paint is going to soak up that wax and you wouldn't be able to wipe much of it back. That is a really interesting. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? It is an interesting piece, isn't it? I thought it was pretty cool. I loved the detail in it. Like I said, the color might have dated it just a little bit, but I'm all about the gold, the antique gold, and I'm loving, loving on the antique golds, especially in the ornate picture frames. Oh. And I found a board. I showed you guys the corbels that I purchased from another creator, creative, that she had uh, milk painted for me. Oh, speaking of milk paint, because I ordered milk paint, or uh, the corbels from Brie with uh, Upcycled by Brie. And she sent me some samples. This is called Lantern, and it's chalk paint, guys. Not chalk paint. Milk paint. Sorry, I'll get it right. She sent me some two samples. This one here is Moody Blue. And it comes in a powder form. And you do one half water, one half uh, paint, one to one. And then, oh, right here. She sent me some hemp oil by Sweet Pickens. And then this is the extra bond that you can put in the milk paint 
to keep it from being really chippy. So, I haven't used it yet, guys, but yeah, I'm anxious to try it. But yeah, Bree sent me samples of that so I could try it because she's a stockist. And, uh, but I did get the board for the shelf in the nursery. So as soon as I hang, I got two pictures I want to hang up above the bed and then um, the shelf. But I got to paint the board for the shelf first. And then I'll just take you guys for a quick little tour of Grandma and Grandpa's old vintage nursery. <laughs> Judy, what is that called? Are you talking about the uh, milk paint? It comes in a powder form. She sent me little samples. It is. I know it kind of looks like it's not, but it is. It's a... Oh, it won't go down. But it is. It's a powder. And you mix it with water. One part water, one part, part uh, powder. Stir it up really good. And it's supposed to give you a really, really chippy finish like the old milk paints always did. <clears throat> but if you don't want it that chippy, because they say the stuff has a mind of its own, so if you don't want it too chippy, she did give me a sample of the Extra Bond that you mix in with it to uh, strengthen the bond so it doesn't chip as much. So, and it has a lot to do with the type of surface you're putting it on, and, and yeah, so... I'm anxious to play with it, see what kind of look I get out of it. Oh, the piece I'm painting. I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what this thing is called. Some kind of little ornate decorative vessel. It is like a little bowl. It is like a resin. It's not ceramic or porcelain or anything like that. It's not wood, so I think it's just some type of resin material. So, I did thrift this piece. You guys would probably be able to tell me where I thrifted it from quicker than I could remember <laughs> if you watched my thrift hauls. Oh, man, because I, I don't remember if this was a shop around the corner, Goodwill, Half Croc. Those are about the only places I've been lately, so one of those. Teresa and Ern, thank you, definitely. <laughs> there we go. A decorative urn. That's what we're going to call it. Let me turn this upside down because I know I'm missing some spots. Hello, Tyler Joe. Faded but desired treasures from Flat, Arkansas. Well, hello and welcome. Okay. I'm going to take the heat gun to this, and then we're going to do like a half coat. I'm going to hit some certain places. Miss Jill, hello. How are you doing, girl? I know, Marley. It, it, it. Well, it's not Marley. Oh, guys, bear with me. I'm still trying to put names, personal names with business names.
But yeah, it's amazing what a coat of paint can do for a piece. Sometimes that's all it takes to update or change an item to match your decor, your taste. That's what I always say, go thrifting, guys. And don't just look at it for exactly what it is, look at it for what it could be. If it's got good bones, good detail, it's in good shape, um, all it would take is a coat of paint to change the look of it and update it. Beautiful sunny day there, it is here too. I maybe purchased the other day, but it seems. But it seems like it went through. I'll have to check. I haven't seen on the website. Lynn says I can see the beauty now. Good. I know that when you do the all the one color, it kind of takes that depth away from it. So you, the detail in it doesn't really pop, but once we get that clear wax and then the dark wax on it, it's gonna bring that detail back out. And I'm telling you, DIY paint always dries lighter, which is kind of odd because most paints, if you go and paint your walls in your house and you put paint on, it always dries darker than what it looks appears when it's wet. But this paint dries much lighter than it is. But when I go to add the uh, clear wax to it, it's going to make it a little bit darker. But then it'll also dry back down to um, its natural color. Hi, Patricia. Didn't go through. Yesterday we did the live. Hmm. Teresa, I haven't gone through all the orders yet, but I haven't gone through one, haven't seen one for you. Marlene, I knew it was part of Marley, but I could, I was like, I know if I'm going to say your name, I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, goodness. Hi, Patty. Just came on. The piece is beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. It says it's still for sale on your site. This piece is, yes. As far as I know, before I came on, it was still um, available. But I think it was uh, put on there that it was to be painted. That's why I always tell you, when you go to order something off the website, make sure if it says in the title of the piece, if it says read description, make sure you go down and read the description because some pieces I'm either going to, either I have to repair them or I'm going to paint them or something. I'm going to put transfers or molds on them. So always make sure if it says read description that you see. And if you want to purchase it just like it is, just make sure you message me that um, that you don't want anything done to it. Oh, okay, I'm going to hit a few more spots here. Okay, I'm going to PM you my address. Your address isn't correct. You didn't move, did you, girl? Hi, Brenda. 
Okay, I just did it again. I bought the piece, bought this piece and the scroll. Oh, you got the scroll too, the wood, the wall scroll. Now that one I was gonna leave the same color, but I was gonna add some waxes to it. I hope you're okay with that because I like the color of that wall scroll. No, it's my old house. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's do this one. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I was like, I'm almost positive she would have said something if she moved. That is a beautiful, isn't it a beautiful color? Caroline, I love it. called Faded Burlap. Perfect name for it. It does have the little feet already on the bottom. I made sure I painted around them. We didn't want to have to mess them up. So it's got its little cushy feet. What is a good antique gold? Oh my gosh, as far as paint, the only antique gold I use, well, I use um, Golden Rule by DIY, but I love using the antique rub and buff gold. Or you can buy antique gold in a spray paint if you've got an item that you're gonna spray paint. Those are the golds. I use, even if I get a frame that's got that right, real bright, shiny gold on it, I'll take my rub and buff and do either the black rub and buff over it first and then the antique gold rub and buff just to give it that age. I've got a little girl's, uh, it's a bust of a little girl. Um, that I was trying to decide how I want to paint it, but I, I'm thinking I want to do the copper, DIY copper patina on it, and then do the um, shipwreck. Do you know how copper turns that bluish patina color when it's aged? So I thought about doing that to that one, so... I have a huge sunburst mirror I want to paint. If you want antique gold, I would get an antique gold um, spray paint and spray paint the frame. Make sure you cover the mirror up and then go over it with um, rub and buff, the antique gold rub and buff. Is it one of those retro Starburst? Kim, that's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Just got on. Been blowing up. Oh, it's a gorgeous day for it. Okay. Let me take a peek. See if I'm missing anything. I think it's going to look good. I think we're good. Okay, let me dry this so then we can go in with our clear wax. Yes, 
<laughs> I figured it was. Oh, that is, that's going to look really cool. Yeah, that antique rub and buff. Just remember, when you use that rub and buff, you'll probably want to use a brush since it's a bigger um, mirror. Like a lot of times I'm just using it in little areas. I always use my finger, but if you're going to use a brush, um, use an old one because it's going to it's going to ruin the brush because it does not it, it doesn't really wash out. I don't know if you've used. Mineral Spirits, I haven't tried that on them, but every little brush I used with the rub and buff, I've always had to just pitch it afterwards. Because I think I get it washed out, and then I'll put it in back in my little cup, and thought, oh, I'll use it. Next time I use gold rub and buff, it's hard as a rock. Hi, Karen. It's gorgeous. I love that it is. I love that vintage stuff. nice that color is. Now picture that with some black down in the details or dark wax down in there. But yeah, I'm really thinking about doing that. If you guys watched that thrift haul before Fridays, um, the liquid gold. I clean my brushes with vegetable oil. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to try that. I've never tried that. Yeah, because usually cause if I'm going to use that rub and buff with a brush, I always grab the rattiest, oldest one because it's like, um, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to throw it away. <laughs> But I gotta try that. I love finding all these new little tricks and stuff you guys have. It works awesome. It's amazing how you take things and turn them into beautiful pieces. Oh, Georgian, thank you. I'm glad you guys love them. That looks pretty darn good. This one is almost there, y'all. not be disappointing if in the process of putting the white clear wax on if a little bit of that gold comes back I just didn't like the way it was before with the whole entire thing that way because I even got the golden rule out if I decided I wanted to just hit the high areas so we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see we're just gonna go with it that's for the dark wax let me find my clear wax Miss Pat, hello, how are you doing? I started my morning off with Miss Pat this morning. Okay, just softening up my brush. Now I'm gonna take out, where's my little spoon or fork? Taking it out and putting it on the lid. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Lynn says, I started my morning with Pat too. <laughs> it's a good way to start the morning, isn't it? I love this piece and, oh, where'd it go? And I finally got mine. 
my dining room back. Hubby got a job working in an actual office. Oh, goodness. How does he like that? I mean, because that's probably totally different than what he's been used to over the years, huh? Hi, Regina. Almost missed you. Oh, you are fine. That's what replays are for, too. Like I said, this is going to seal the paint in, the DIY paint. It has to be sealed in, so this acts as a sealer, so you won't have to do any other kind of sealer once you've used wax on it, but this is also going to be A barrier so I can control how much dark wax stays on my piece. I'll be able to wipe back as much as I want to. wax around okay so the next all I'm going to do is take a paper towel let me find a halfway clean one here I'm going to wipe back the excess Sneaking a peek while on break from work, Marianne. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You're on break. Okay. Just, like I said, getting the, the excess clear wax wiped back. And then we're going to do... Same with this piece, and then we're going to start with the, the dark wax. The exciting part. It is a process. But see what I mean by how that, uh, how it dries lighter, the paint, once it dries, it's lighter. And then when you wax it, it uh, brightens it back up. But then once that wax, within the next 24 hours, once that wax cures, it will lighten up. A little bit not quite as light as it is before the wax but and sometimes people freak out a little bit with the clear wax it will make your paint look um, a little blotchy sometimes that usually goes away after your uh, wax has completely cured hi Janice how are you doing there's my mama love you mom I'm doing some wax, Mom. Wax on, wax off. Remember that movie we would watch all the time? <laughs> uh. So the white wax is not totally cured. No, no, it's not. The clear wax isn't completely cured when I go put the uh, dark wax on. That's why usually if it's a piece like Miss Teresa, I think just purchased this piece, it will be 
um, a couple of days before I ship it because I don't like shipping pieces that have all the wax on them unless that wax has cured. So this one will sit, so I let the, at least 24 hours, I want the wax to cure before I try to wrap it up and ship it and all of that. Mom says, yes, I remember. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> And we're going to do it all. I don't want the inside to be any different. Mom remembers the Karate Kid and when we watched it all the time. I even had a poster of Ralph Macchio on my wall in my bedroom. If that doesn't date me, y'all. <laughs> uh. I think my sister had Sean Cassidy and I had Ralph Macchio. Macchio, Macchio, wow, I'm not sure if that's even how you say it. <laughs> oh, can you let the white cure before you? Yes, you can, most definitely. Because once you get the white or the clear wax on there and it cures, it's, it's uh, still considered sealed and it is a protective um, base that you can still control the dark wax if you choose to use the dark wax. And you can also spray it or use uh, like DIY's Big Top or Crystal Clear Chandelier as a sealer. Let that dry and set up and then go back in with a dark wax or one of the other um, patinas, whether it be shipwreck or whatever, yeah. Yes, ma'am. The only reason I'm saying that you, um, I like to seal before I use dark wax is just so I have that control because if I was to take the dark wax straight to the raw um, DIY paint, it would literally just suck that dark wax into it and you wouldn't be able to white back. It would end up being really dark. But yeah, you could have sealed your piece with, with it and days later go back and use the dark wax over it. Miss Paula! Hey girl! Thank you! Thank you so much! Sorry, I'm late. You are perfectly fine, Anita. How are ya? We are sprucing up a thrifted find. Where's my fork? We need some more wax. Just a little bit more. Yeah, so the next one, I'm probably going to do the little girl's bust. Um, and I do. I think, I think I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to look, guys, because I've never done a whole piece in the um, Pennies from Heaven. It's DIY's Pennies from Heaven. Um, I'm going to do the whole thing in that. And then I think I want to use Shipwrecked as a um, wax patina. Oh, let me get the bottom, too. Over that... After I clear wax it and stuff, and then do, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious. I want to see how that turns out. Don't know till we try, do we? I am doing great. I'm doing great. Miss Debbie Copelansky, hello. Sorry. Oh, no, Georgian. That is exactly what I want. Ask questions. There might be some I don't have answers for, but... I bet I could figure it out by trial and error. <laughs> uh, I'm good at doing that. I do a lot of trial and error when I'm not on lives too, so. <laughs> okay, again, we're just gonna wipe back the excess. And sometimes even when you use the clear wax, um, 
it does reactivate the paint, so you could end up wiping back down to your uh, surface, which I don't mind because underneath is the gold, and I don't mind a little bit of the gold showing through. Kind of like if it was like bright fluorescent green or orange or something, I probably would have sprayed a shellac um, or a sealer over my paint first before I actually started waxing because I would not want that color or I probably would have just spray painted the piece black or white or something like that before I even started with my chalk paint color. Okay. Let's put this brush up. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it out just in case because clear wax also, if you get too much dark wax in one spot, you can also use your um, clear wax as kind of like an eraser. It will not remove it, remove it, but it will lift a little bit more of the dark wax off if you got too much. So same thing. I'm just going to take some out. I'm going to put it in my lid. Tammy, you collect pennies from heaven. That's awesome. Your lid is, oh, it's starting to scoot away. <laughs> oh, okay. Just squishing my brush to soften it up. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to now waxing something is like the opposite of dry brush. When you dry brush something, like say if I wanted to dry brush this white, you would get white paint on your brush and then you would offload most of it onto a towel, rag, something. And then you would take your brush and just hit the high areas is what it does. So it highlights the high areas. The wax is the opposite. I want the wax down in the crevices and I'm wiping off the high areas. So it's kind of just like the opposite effect. Okay, see that part without anything? It's kind of hard to see the detail. Look at the detail in there now that's showing up. And like I said, you do what looks good to you. You wipe off as much as you want or as little as you want. It all depends on what look you want and what look you're going for. And I usually try to do, do it in sections. If I have, if I have a big piece, like this piece here, I could probably just cover the whole thing with the dark wax and then go back and wipe it off. But I wanted to show you guys the difference. Beautiful, you had a vision. I usually do most of the time. Sometimes it's just like, I don't know like what color. Like I wasn't sure what color I was going to use as my base color when I seen this. But I knew with the detail on this piece when I seen it before I bought it that it would look awesome waxed. Painted and then waxed. All right. And also, I'm using a baby wipe, which will help wipe back more. If you don't want that much taken off, use a dry rag, paper towel or something.
And again, it's just one of those you play with until you get it to look. And if you wipe too much back, just add more. I've done that several times where my baby wipe was taken way too much off and then I put more on and then use a paper towel to wipe back. And that gave me the look I was shooting for. Look. Looks more European, French country, doesn't it? Then early 2000, when we started. Again, with it not having a lot of detail on the flat part. The only thing that's going to hold that in, the dark wax in, are the brush strokes, which we love. So there's our top. Now we're going to do this piece. Beautiful. I love the color. Looks great. Pam, you like my apron? I usually don't remember to put them on. <laughs> I did today. I do have my Simple Spruce Studio uh, shirt on underneath it too. And I thought, well, I better not get too much more paint on it. I do still have some of these shirts on the website, too, that are available. But I think it's limited on sizes. I'm not real sure what sizes I have left. Do you know the difference between DIY paint and Dixie Bell? You know what? Dixie Bell has a chalk mineral paint. And... I've only used it one time since I bought it. So that is one of the lines that I wanted to try to be able to tell you guys the difference. So I didn't notice a difference with the Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint because they also have a different line that is not chalk paint. And uh, you can't like wet distress it back. So I ordered the chalk mineral paint by Dixie Belle. And it does really good too. It's got good coverage. You can uh, wet distress it back. It'd be good with blending. So, but then they have another one that's not chalk paint and I've never tried it yet. So I really can't compare, compare that one. But I am interested in getting a sample or a color in their other paint and try it too. Because I also ordered Dixie Bell's patina paints with their sprays. I have not used them yet. They're still sitting right here on my table. I am so excited to try those. I've got a metal candle. I set it over there. Um, candlestick that I want to try it on. So you guys will be the first to know. Michelle on Maple Street, first time watching. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you'll stick around and hit that follow and like button. Now, it says Michelle on Maple Street. Why does that sound very familiar? I might have seen you on, I'm assuming you have a Facebook business page, but do you have a brick and mortar also? And that sounds familiar. Already following. Maybe that's because I've seen you on here before then. I'm not sure. 
I have got to check that out. I wonder if I hit. Ah, it does. I haven't tried that. Sometimes I see people's uh, business pages pop up and it shows that I'm not following yet. So I just hit the little blue follow and it does. I didn't want it to. <laughs> With Facebook guys and technology, sometimes if I touch the screen, I screw something up. Yeah, so I'm always a little leery about it. Again, just wiping off all the high areas. And a little bit of the gold is coming through, which looks really good. Now, if I, like I said, if I didn't want that gold to come through, I would have let the clear wax cure all the way. So I'm telling you, once you wax chalk paint or seal it with any sealer, that ain't going anywhere after that. It's there to stay. You do do lots of events. It's like, I know there's a reason why I know that name. Gail says, looking good. Thank you. I have to run, Becky, but thank you for your vision and your, oh, you are so welcome, Lynn. Thank you for hanging with us for a little while. Love it. Wow, we're almost going on an hour. We're almost there, guys. Okay, I really love how that looks. Look at that. See all the detail? Now, I don't know if you can see. Let me find a spot. We have, if you look at the tips of some of these where the gold is uh, kind of peeking back through, that's what I was going to do with the golden rule, but since it's doing it on its own, I might not have to add too much to it. Sprinkled out twice for and why, Debbie, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you, thank you. That means so much, more than you guys realize sometimes, I think. Just the comments, the hearts, hitting the hearts, the thumbs up, all that. It lets Facebook know that you guys like what you're watching and it triggers them to put me out there to more people. So I know that we have the stars that are available, but don't ever feel obligated to help to help us grow as creators. Like I said, the comments, the sprinkling, the heart buttons, the thumbs up, yeah, all of that helps so much. And all of that is free of charge. And we will take it all day long. Name of the wax, please. The name of the wax is DIY Dark Wax. The first one I used was DIY's Clear Wax. That was to seal it in, seal my chalk paint in, and to give me some play with the dark wax. So this is DIY's Dark Wax. And I've used some other waxes and I have keep coming back to this one. Um, it is, there's, it's so buttery soft. And I think the main reason I like using it because it is so soft is because a lot of times I'll use uh, air dry clay and make molds. And when I'm doing my lives, I work with my molds before they're set up so they're still soft. And if I want to wax over them, 
The DIY wax allows me to be able to wax over them without having to push too hard and lose all my detail in my molds. Because it is a very creamy, soft wax. Man, I sound like I sell it or I'm sponsored. I'm not. I'm not sponsored by anybody yet. <laughs> I need to check into that. I need to maybe start carrying some products. But then I keep going back to, Becky, you're doing good keeping your YouTube and Facebook going. <laughs> I was trying to upload a video to YouTube before I got on here and it got to like 89% and it kept saying, you know, 10 minutes remaining. And I'm like, oh, forget it. I got to go live. So now I got to start over. <laughs> but that's okay. I love it. I love it. Oh, you guys. What do you think? Let's put the whole thing together. Look, look at the detail, how it pops. And like I said, it's got subtle little shimmers of where the gold is peeking through. And I think if anything, I might just rub a little bit more to bring a little bit of the gold detail through and not have to use any other product on it. So Miss Teresa, I hope you like it. She bought it when she first, first hopped on. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Yes. So see what a little bit of paint and wax can do for a piece, guys. Buy secondhand. Thrift, thrift, thrift. There's so many items out there, guys, waiting to be rediscovered. And kept out of landfills. And they have stories to tell. And a lot of them are unique pieces. A lot of pieces that I thrift or find that are vintage. They don't make them anymore. Not everybody's going to have the same thing. So there we go. All right, guys. Now that I've had you on here for an hour, <laughs> thank you guys for sticking with me. You guys are troopers. God love you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Teresa, like I said, this is going to set for 24 hours. I don't want to pack it up until the wax, um, the waxes have cured on it and all that good stuff. So check out the website, guys, if you're interested. Make sure you read the descriptions because some pieces are listed to be painted, to be upcycled, spruced up or something. Um, not all of them, but a few here and there I do that with. So, um, and I usually do them on a live if I can fit it in. So, and if you don't want anything done to it, just make sure you send me a, a message, an email, PM me something, and tell me that you want it as is, the item that you bought. So, all right, guys. Well, you guys go enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Love you guys. Bye.